Okay, everybody! Let's play three film cow games. We're starting off with Devon and the Celestial Necropolis. All three of these games should be... Well, I'm expecting them to be silly, because film cow is silly. Let's begin. You feel as though you've been floating for hours. Floating above the earth, which had been your home until the cold grip of death pulled you away. How was it you died again? Working on a world-changing scientific discovery in an honorable battle of old age, surrounded by lo loved ones. Exploring uh, old age. I'm like one of those guys. Ah, that's right. You were hit in the head by a falling toilet-shaped coffee mug at Spencer's Gifts. <laughs> hey, you Ugandan peacekeeper. Good to see you. Hello, my brother. All right. Oh, well, there's worse ways to go. You feel yourself fading. Fading. Life is over, but a new journey has just begun. Hello. Welcome to my celestial necropolis. <laughs> my name is Devin. I'm someone you can trust. Well, do you trust me? Uh, I suppose. You have good instincts, my friend. But hold on one second, I'm getting a call. Yes, this is Devin. I see. Thank you for letting me know. Do you know who that was? That was God. That's right, THE God. God was telling me about someone... Or it was just telling me about how you died, bleeding on the floor of Spencer's Gifts. Novelty toilet mug. Huh? No worse way to go, really. <laughs> we have a lot in common, you and I. You also died from a coffee mug in Spencer's gift? Gifts? We both had our lives stolen from us before it was our time. Was that God? You agree with me? Great, wonderful. <laughs> to be on the same page. He has a cell phone connection to God? See? It's not our fault, friend. We shouldn't be here in this celestial necropolis. Don't get me wrong, it's a wonderful celestial necropolis. Necropolis. I should know. I built it. But it's a means to an end. The best of a bad deal. I don't like bad deals. Never have. And I'm willing to bet you don't either. Together we can fix this little problem. Together we can return to Earth and continue living lives we are meant to live. What do you think about it? Uh... <laughs> what if I say, nah, I'd rather stay? Because he's like, okay, see ya! <laughs> All right, fine, I'm in. I knew you looked like someone who could spot an opportunity. Rest now. Lots of small naps throughout the day. That's the key. We have be a beautiful future together. Our destinies are forever linked. Please do not wander outside the confines of the celestial necropolis. If you do, you will be lost forever. Forever. Also, do not speak to anyone. We are alone. There is no one else here. Well, then why do you have to tell me that? The celestial ne necropolis can play tricks on the mind. We are alone. Speak to no one. All right, time for a power nap. Devin falls asleep on the celestial floor directly below you. His eyes are still open, but you're certain he's asleep. He warned you not to travel too far. However, there's probably no harm in looking around. Uh, this is a game about the afterlife. An imposing planet floats beyond the rocks of the celestial necropolis. For the first time, you realized how cold it must be out here in space. And yet you feel nothing. For I am a dead. I am a dead lost soul. You are dead. Really and truly dead. Hey. Buddy. Over here. Yes, haha. Another one. Another one. Hi. Yes. Hello. I'm Claire. This is one of my trophies. Please don't freak out. I want it for harvesting the most souls. Your soul is safe. I'm so good at soul harvesting. Look at these. I'm a winner. Do you want to be a winner? Win winner of what? Oh, good. Hesitation. You clearly don't share my passion for success, which is good. Very good. Listen, I donked up. I can admit that. I'm sure you've done some donking in your day, have I? Hey, Chung Dreamon. This is a film cow game. We've all donked. It's fine. What I'd want to do is undo the donk. And I want to kill and bury all the donk. <laughs> Claire scares me. I have reachable goals and an actionable plan. How would you like a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity? I'm already doing something with Devin. Ah, uh, yes. I predict you'll eventually reconsider that. It's nice to feel like a winner. To feel like you've conquered something. To feel a harvested soul struggling uselessly in your firm grip. Yeah, you freak me out. I must begin for preparations. Do not freak out, all will be explained. I will explain everything! Don't tell Devin we met. Don't tell Devin anything. He's going to harvest you. He's a liar and he wants your soul, but you also want my soul, clearly. See ya, don't trust Evan, bye. 
With that, Claire disappears behind some celestial rocks. I hope I can. You decide to look around some more. I, I hope I can, Ugandan peacekeeper. We'll find out. You float towards the central, central, the center of the celestial necropolis. There's a feeling you get here that you can't quite put your finger on. Oh, it's dread. You feel lots of dread here around the star. You jump in surprise as a hand touches your shoulder. I'm sorry for startling you. I was just wondering what you were doing here in this terrible place. Did someone tell you to come here? There's only two people around. Did someone tell you to- or really only two people around did someone tell you to come? I haven't seen anyone. That's right, you haven't seen anyone because no one else is here. Tell me, what do you know about the human soul? Actually, let me tell you what I know. They're worthless. Human souls are worthless. Do you hear that god worthless? Wait, what? Are you sure? Well, you would know. You are God, after all. Friend, I just had the most disturbing conversation with God. He told me you're hiding something. Hiding something from your only friend. Devin. Now why would you do that? Just doesn't make sense. I'm someone you can trust. I'm Devin. Sorry, we're getting off track. The human soul. You know which souls aren't worthless. Insect souls. What? <laughs> sure, insects have tiny souls, but they're strong. And there are so many of them. Oh, God. Imagine what one could do with, say, a swarm of insect souls. Wow. <laughs> oh, I feel like I should have been more uh, careful with, like, those ants. Even the fire ants and the cockroaches. Jesus. The possibilities. The potential. I'm sorry. We're not yet on the same page. I'm sure most of this doesn't make sense. I've been here too long. I don't belong here. I need you to do something for me. There's a nebula nearby. It's very thick. A very thick nebula. Thick enough that some creep could be hiding in there and we would never know. There could be creeps in the nebula, do you understand? Of course you would understand, you're very smart. Smart enough not to listen to the lies of a creep hiding in a nebula. Can you do this favor for me? Will you check the nebula for creeps? It's a very important job and you're the only one I can trust with it. Sure, man! Excellent, we'll work so well together. If you find any creeps, don't let them too close to your soul. And even more importantly, don't let them talk to you. Remember, creeps lie. They can't be trusted. Trust me. <laughs> oh, trust Devin. You make your way toward the nebula. We can... Devin is... We can definitely trust Devin. That's my brother's name. Although, it's spelled differently. This nebula is indeed very thick. If there's any creeps hiding here, they're gonna... It's gonna be super hard to find. Uh... What are you doing here? This is the executive hiding area, and you're not an executive yet. Devin told me to check for creeps. Well, there's no creeps here, just me. My preparations are just about to complete. Soon, Zathrafrax will be released from the eternal inferno orb, and Devin will be imprisoned once again. Oh, yeah. You don't know any about an anything about any of this, do you? The Celestial Necropolis was a prison. Still is, but Devin runs the show now. When Devin arrived, he forms a business and uh, he formed a business entity with some of the other prisoners, like me. I had a plan to get us back to Earth through targeted soul harvesting and strategic reinvestments. I was con I was constantly a top harvester. So it's like a business then? How does that help? I even harvested the other business partners at Devin's request, of course. Was it wrong? Sure, but that's why I'm in prison. I'm dangerous! I mean, at least Claire's honest about how she's... dangerous. I never thought any... I never thought Devin would turn on me. He even... even though he turned on everyone else. I was the top harvester! Luckily, I embezzled a bunch of souls for myself. I was harvesting so many, he never even noticed. When he's ripped my soul in half... When he ripped my soul in half, I was able to use the embezzled soul as sort of a soul salve. Salve. And now we're going to free Zathrafrax, the true guardian of the Celestial Necropolis. Are you ready? Because I'm ready. I'm always ready. I am absolutely not ready. I guess. Yeah, absolutely not ready. Okay. That sucks, but there's no other choice, choice at this point, point, and your part is really easy. What I need you to do is distract Devin with intellectual musings while I activate the Celestial Necropolis's emergency lockdown systems. The emergency lockdown will suck all of us into the inter eternal inferno orb, which is what we call the sun here. The Eternal Inferno Orb is where Devin puts Zathrafrax. It's the hardest place to escape from the entire celestial necropolis. Yeah, Claire, tell me the world is fat, flat and you'll get more trophies. Yeah, she loves us. Uh, you know what? She would, because she loves them trophies. Once inside, she's a top earner. 
Once inside, I'll be able to free Zothrafrax using the souls I've trapped in my trophies. I don't even remember how many I've stuffed in here, but it's a lot. All right, let's do this. You got soul trophies? You're waving around a bunch of human souls? Would you like to shove me in one of those trophies? And what happens to the souls that you use to revive the Zothrafrax? This is crazy. Remember, distract Devin with clever philosophical talk and I'll get us sucked into the inter eternal inferno orb. Zothrafrax, we're coming! Unsure of what else to do, you float back to where the star where Devin was sleeping. Hmm. Yeah, intellectual musing is the best. Ah, there you are. While you were gone, I had the strangest dream. I was standing in a meadow of unspeakable beauty. It was a warm day, but there was a fragrant breeze and the ground felt cool under my feet. The sweet scent of grass and flowers brought me into a state of serenity I hadn't felt in years. And then I realized something was wrong. Terribly wrong. Where was my good friend from the Celestial Necropolis? Why were they not standing in the meadow beside me, enjoying the fruits of our escape? A dire thought crossed my mind. What if my friend had been led astray? What if they had fallen victim to a serpent's lies and thus were unable to join me in salvation? Or what if my friend had never actually been my friend? Ooh, Devin's so creepy. <laughs> it really was the strangest dream. So did you find any creeps? Is there a god? Well, you were on the phone with him. Is there a meaning of life? Why does anything exist? I would tell him about Claire. Even though Devin's probably a betrayer. That's my brother's name, though. How could he... How could someone with, a, you know, the, the name of my brother betray me? Well, why, why does anything exist? Asking the big questions, I see. The answer is because we have ambition. Thus, reality formed to offer itself its opportunity. Are you satisfied? Has your thirst for answers been quenched? Now, did you find any creeps? What is... What are words? <laughs> you did meet a creep in the nebula, didn't you? Did the creep ask you to play these deceptive games with me? Your best friend? Talk to me. I'm Devin. I'm the one you can trust. I really wanted to stand with you in that meadow. This could have been an equitable partnership. What a disappointment. You feel as though your entire body has been pushed through a fine mesh strainer. The universe is gone. You are gone. You have been unmade, and yet you're still conscious and aware of yourself. Aware of your own lack of form and essence. It sucks. <laughs> Don't move. This has been very eventful. A woman appears before you, seemingly out of thin air. Who are you? Answer truthfully. Answer untruthfully. I'll tell the truth. Ah, uh, yes, of course. My name is Zap. Or Zathrafrax for long. Oh, I was expecting some sort of crazy alien looking person. Okay, hi Zap. I built a celestial necropolis out of my shattered corpse. No, I will not explain. All you need to know is I am beyond your comprehension. Not beyond comprehension, beyond your comprehension. Got it? Great. So, who is left out there? Anyone good? Claire and Devin. Is that really it? There were tens of thousands a few months ago, but I guess Claire and Devin were quick. The next answer is, uh, question is very important. Maybe the most important question you'll be ever asked. Did you really get killed by, fa by a falling nov novelty toilet mug at Spencer's Gifts? You don't have to answer, your face just answered. It was really hoping to be... I was really hoping that part of the historical record was true. <laughs> Alright, the task at hand. You're just making fun of me now? Alright, <laughs> are you done? Now that this Inferno Orb is on lockdown, I have operational control again. The only way for Devin to regain control is through the neural web. That's where he'll, he will go. Have you ever been inside an in, in eternal Inferno Orb's neural web? Well, you're about to. Because I'm not letting you out of my sight. Not for a moment. You are not to be trusted. Oh, come on. Off we go. But you're giving, you're giving us peace signs. Yeah. Once again, you find yourself in a state of unmaking. You will exist. You still exist, but without a time or a place. It feels like you've melted and are being carried away by a smooth current. Okay. Ah, this place always makes my ears pop. Hello, Zafrofrax. Devin, it's lovely to see you again. You were right, you know, about the souls. Of course I was. They're worthless. For escaping my celestial necropolis, yes. This music. 
This music reminds me of... There's a, there's a music in Shadowgate. Is this the music from Shadowgate, but changed slightly? It, it's very similar. Alright, you can't break the containment using the thing that's being contained. That's just logic. I have so much more that I need to do. Think of what I could accomplish with your help, Zathrafrax. Think of the synergy. You wish... You wish you had listened to liter... I wish you had listened to literally anything I told you. So much of this nonsense could have been avoided. Everyone needs to stop and listen now and then. Now and then, even you, Devin. I cannot stop while opportunity looms on the horizon. And I see a whole universe of opportunity before me. A tangled web of harmonic paradigms. It's a beautiful... It's beautiful beyond description. My power is now yours, Zatherfax! Yeah! Ow. It is! It is the... It is the... It is the shadow... The Shadowgate music. Did I say Shadowrun? Shadowgate. It's the Shadowgate music. This is the Shadowgate music. It's... It's good Shadowgate music. God, I love Shadowgate. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, ow. Dang. Stop hitting me with that. I gave you my souls. So now you can use their power. Uh, thanks, but I don't need them. Not to brag, but my own soul is kind of in a, in kind of another league. Oh, cool, cool. Just thought it would help with the Devon situation. The only Devon situation that is... The only Devon situation that is Devon doesn't understand the situation. What do I not understand? There is no escaping my celestial necropolis. You, but you are leaving my celestial necropolis any moment now. Are, are you letting me go? Of course not. If I had a choice, you'd be locked here forever. But this is a prison for the dead, and you're not going to be dead. Your friends on Earth did some sort of rich, some ritual, and your body is recomposing as we speak. I see. I cannot believe they managed to pull that off. That was Plan D for me at best. Oh, uh, there it is. I can feel it. Excellent, yes. Well, I apologize for all the trouble I might have caused. Opportunity waits. Farewell! Yeah, get out of here, you jerk. We did it! As a team! Right, Claire, time to go back outside. I'm a winner! Prisoner of the month! Okay. As for you, you'll need to go through orientation. Yes, orientation, you're a prisoner. There's a reason you were brought here. You're dangerous. I'm dangerous! Yeah, I'm bad. I am one dangerous dude. So was Devin actually talking to God or not? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm glad you guys are getting along in the chat. This is a good question. We're, we're having some good philosophical discussions. This is raising a lot of philosophical ideas. That night, you floated amongst the stars of the celestial necropolis. You had a dream. Or as you did, you had a dream. Oh, the field. Hello again, friend. Were we friends? I'd like to think so. I wish you could have joined me here in Salvation. The opportunities available to me right now are simply unbelievable. However, we must all follow our own path. Hello? Oh, hi again, God! Y yes I know. My friend did really choose the worst, pa worst path imaginable. Wow, even you as God can understand how they made much- can't understand how they made much such poor decisions. <laughs> They're making fun of my choices up until this point in the game. Are you even- are you just pretending? Harsh but fair. Okay, I will let them know. Good talking to you. That was God. They want you to know that they forgive you for being such an incredible disappointment. I forgive you too. Who am I to act any different than God? Well, I have places to see and people to be. And some beehives to check on. I hope that while you float eternally in that absurd celestial void, you take some small amount of comfort knowing that your good friend Devin is out there making it happen. Take care of yourself, because no one else will. Hmm, not bad advice sometimes. That's it! Well, I mean, that was A. Is there multiple endings? Boy, that was fast. Now let's try this again. All right. I was working on a world-changing scientific discovery. And I got killed. Okay. Let's, let's, yeah, let's skip through this. Oh. Oh, he said, told him I don't trust him. Yeah, I don't trust you. Yeah, that was God, the God. I got killed by a, a, a mug. Let's try making different choices, and then we'll do, and then we'll do a, a, another game. Okay. No thanks, I'd rather stay here. I've been much here much longer than you, and I expect you to change your mind. I must rest now. Okay, so that's the same. They told me I made all the worst choices. Alright. So, did, did, did my choices actually mean anything? Okay, blah blah blah. Please don't freak out. I harvest souls. I'm a winner. 
Do you want to be a winner? Yes, I do. Oh no. Haha, <laughs> that might make things harder. Listen, I donked up. Okay. Sure, I'll join you. I'll join with Claire. The wheels of progress are rolling along. It's nice to feel like a winner. To feel like you've conquered something. Okay. So far, not much is different. Don't tell Devin anything. Okay. Devin touches me. So far, nothing's different. Uh, it's none of your business, Devin. But friend, all business is my business. Tell me, what do you know of the human soul? Okay, yeah, nothing. Insects are worth more. Ah, thanks. Thanks, you got in, Peacekeeper. Ah, yeah, I appreciate the compliments. Every day I go online and say the same things, and it seems like my life is going to be the same. You're trapped in a circle, and each day you're closer to the end. Well, you haven't told me you like my beard, so that's something new. <laughs> that's something to change the, the cycle of life and death. I feel like I'm in a cycle too right now. Nothing's changing, but, you know, you can do little things to change your life. You know, do something new. Do something silly and pointless. Sometimes the little pointless things that make you happy have the most points, have, have the, ba the are actually the most important. Actually, that's why I play video games for a living. All right, <laughs> like, I, that used to be the thing that I did that was pointless, and now it's, like, the point of my existence. So, hey, yeah, there's ways to fix that. And Aaron says another way to fix that would be to change your nickname. <laughs> well, that's another way to do it, too. Yeah. All right, anyways. But yeah, find what you love and do it. Or just act silly. Do something silly and stupid. <laughs> or do something important. Or something. I don't know. Yeah. It'll be okay, though. Uh, it's a very important job. No way! Well, it's your choice. And having a choice is so very important. Choices must be cherished and protected, which is why I'm going to take that choice out of your hands for a little while and keep it safe with me. Oh, wow. Your choice is doing so much better under my care. You've decided to go check the nebula for me. <laughs> okay. So are all my choices meaningless? So far, it seems like all the choices are meaningless. I'm, I'm just looking around. It's beautiful here. They don't call this the Executive Nebula for nothing. Okay. Yeah, it's all the same so far. So is this game just designed to make fun of you? Are you ready? I am ready, Claire. All right. Oh yeah, what do you say? Carpe Noctum Ad Victorium. Okay. And you can save this game too. All right. I was standing in the middle. Yeah, good, great. Everything is the same. All right. Uh, well, we can make different choices here. Is there a god? What a particular, res a peculiar response to my question. I mean, you have seen, you have seen me talk to God on the phone. That has to be some sort of answer. Oh, yes, God, is that you? Kind of a yes, kind of a no. Great. I don't think that's going to satisfy my friend here, but I'll let him know. God says there is less than one and more than zero of them. <laughs> I hope that answers your derailments. Now, did you find any creeps? What is a creep, really? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. You did meet a creep in the nebula, didn't you? Okay. Talk to me, I'm Devin. Okay. Universe is gone. I don't think my choices have any me uh, any meaning. I'm gonna lie. Ah, you're a liar. Good to know. My name is Ep. Okay. I don't think any of this means anything. Anyone good? I'm not... Mm. Alright. Devin is a go-getter. Also, my logs show only you, Claire, and Devin being siphoned here. Next question is very important. Okay. Yep. Like, the, the one I don't get to answer. Because my face tells me them the answer. Okay. Alright. Nothing's different so far. Nothing's different so far. I'm just curious. Claire comes in and does something pointless. We're listening to the awesome Shadowrun music. It's not the best Shadowrun music, but it's a pretty good one. He gets, he gets, he gets sent back to life. What else? That's it? Hello again, my friends. Okay. First path imaginable. That was God. Is that it? That's it? Huh. Well. I guess this has been Devin and the Celestial ne Necropolis. It was kind of funny. It kind of implied that there was more choices or more things. Well, let's go on to the next game then. 
Well, it was nice meeting Devin. Let's, let's be, now it's time to play the raccoon who lost their shape, apparently. Yeah, yeah, coming up there's gonna be a sad stream. Tomorrow there'll be two, two streams. The sad stream and the Vermintide 2 stream. Anyways, the raccoon who lost their shape. If there was other paths, I couldn't find them on that one. WSD or arrow, space bar, and Rex. Okay, let's begin. People come in many different shapes. Literal shapes. Shapes with faces on them. Shape people. Many years ago, I discovered that I had an ability. The ability to contact shape people who had died. Their souls trapped forever in the shape person death realm. I'm a medium between the world of the living and the dead, but only for shape people. People who are literally large, flat, conspicuous, or conscious shapes with faces on them and nothing else. This is my story. Alright. I should probably talk with my next client before going into the summoning room. I'm an adult and I can make my own choices and this is my choice. Uh, this isn't even a good photo. It's the only one I have left. I have no one to call, and no one calls me. Why do I even have a phone in here? Guess to order food. Usually too expensive, though. This phone serves no purpose other than to taunt me. <laughs> this button sex sends in my next client via the state-funded Shape People Tube System. It is a network of tubes that shape people travel through to get to places because they do not have arms or legs. They are just shapes. Shall I press the button and send in my next client? Do not protest- do not press the button and continue faffing about. I don't have to press the button. I can do anything I want today. Anything I want. Can I- can I look at this diploma? Nope. I still have work to do. Can't leave yet. I mean, I could leave. I want to leave. But I'm not gonna leave. I'm not going to leave. My coat rack! Or is it a hat rack? Maybe it's both. Alright, we've- Wait. Wait. <laughs> what if I just knock the coat rack on the floor? There's no one who would dare stop me. Even if I ever own a hat again. If I ever- even if I own a hat again, I'll hang it here. This'll be its home. A home for hats. That's what I've got here. Wow, there's a lot of lines just for one object. Like he said, I'm not- I- like I have a coat, but I'm not gonna put it on the rack. You and me. Coat and or hat rack. We're hitting the road. Seeing the world. Adventure awaits. Okay, he's out of things to say about the hat rack. I could just dial some numbers randomly. That'd be something I could do. That was too loud. Control yourself, me. Uh, yes, yes, I'm very dramatic. I'm not gonna sigh anymore. I'm done with sighing. Uh, that was a yawn, not a sigh. I'm li literally lying to myself now. Okay. I'm forgetting something. I'm forgetting the order in which I need to do things so that my job gets done. This is my office. I can go into any room whenever I want. And I do not want to go into the summoning room right now. I have free will and a soul. Why do I want to go in the summoning room right now? It's dark and it smells weird and the walls are a little moist. The summoning room is a sometimes room. Sometimes I wish I could tear this whole building down with my ra tiny raccoon hands. <laughs> not really, but kind of. Well, that was worth it. When did I even get this phone? It might have already been here when I first rented this office. An abandoned phone with no one to call. I'm going to do it. I'm going to call someone. Anyone. All right. I don't have phone service. Well, this has been an exciting blip in my day. All right. We've exhausted all the options, I think. So I press the button? Press the button. Send in the ne next shape clients. Ah, okay. Hello, little buddy. Hello, I am a pentagon. Pentagons have five sides and five corners. Yes, I know what a pentagon is. Do not think for a simple moment that your knowledge of shapes impresses me. <laughs> I am here because I need you to contact my beloved and recently dead friend who is a circle. Yes, you heard me, a circle. You might wonder how someone with such an abundance of sides could be friends with someone with, who had none. But it was a lot of, it was a lot of work. But the circle finally understood the true superiority of sides and angles. And thus, they also came to understand the truth of their own inferior shape. S you sound like a terrible friend. I would not expect you to understand. You too lack sides and manners. 
The reason I need to contact my dead sideless friend is because of a locked door I have discovered hidden behind a bookshelf in the art their old library. I would like you to ask them where I might find a key to this door. Can you do that for me? Can you complete this simple task? Uh, job's a job. Yes, we all have our roles. And your role is right now is to serve me. I have brought with me a personal item of theirs, a book. That is all you need to contact, contact them, correct? A personal item that they owned? Uh, I also need some time off for work. A, a week or two. <laughs> this is a simple job and you will complete it today. Here is their personal item. Let me know when you know the location of the key. Have you completed the summoning and discovered the location of the key yet? No? Then why are you talking with me? Oh, because I thought you might say some more things. Ah. Well, <laughs> that's an issue. Alright. This is my summoning altar. I use it to summon the ghosts of shape people. The shape people are the only people who seem to turn into ghosts when they die. Sometimes I worry it's because non shape people like myself don't have a soul. I think a lot about my own death. Shall I summon the dead shape person I need to talk to? Don't even bother. <laughs> who cares about shapes or ghosts? I need to stop summoning the dead and learn how to live. I like how this cup has a heart on it. There's a heart shaped cup being used as a candle. I like some of these little details in the game. Alright. I like how I can jump on things. Alright, let's do it. Summon the shape ghost! Ooh, dramatic. Oh. Uh, oh. Alright, pretty cool. Are you gonna hit the ceiling? Okay, good. <laughs> Just before you hit the ceiling, it cuts out. Oh, wait. I could have gone to the beach today. If I summon another shape right now, it will not be the... If, if I summon another shape now, it will be a shape I do not need to talk to. The whole thing will be very awkward. I already feel awkward just thinking about it. What if I tried to summon all the shapes at once? That would certainly be a banal misuse of power. I do not need another shape ghost in my life right now. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. Is your face getting bigger? No, okay. <laughs> Alright, circle. Hello. I am a circle. But I'm sure you knew that. I wasn't expecting to be summoned today. How interesting. May I help you with something? A friend of yours hired me to summon you. They found a locked door in your old library and would like to know the location of the key. Which friend might you be, you, you be referring to? A pentagon? A circle, like you. A pentagon. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ah, yes, my friend. Did they tell you about the glory of angles and sides? Did they explain in great detail the perfection of their holy pentagon form? Please tell them that the key is hidden behind the old wall clock that hangs on the other side of the library. Do you know what's behind the locked door? It's a canister of toxic gas, rigged to spray anyone who goes snooping around there where they don't belong. Tell that pentagon that the great there's great treasures hidden inside the room, and it's theirs for the taking. Ha. Ah. Thank you for your information. Actually, there was one more thing. Have you uh, happened upon any crescents during your time in the Realm of the Dead? No, not that I can remember. Crescents are fairly rare as far as shape people go. I'm sure I would recall having seen one. Ah, uh, well, thank you anyway. Do I have a pass with a crescent? Was there anything else? Nope, apparently not. Ha, <laughs> okay. Have you discovered the location of the key? The room is a deadly trap? Or should I? Oh, and I do have a crescent on the wall. And I sighed. That's right, I sighed about the crescent. Apparently I care about that crescent up there. Huh. I'll just do what the circle says. It's in a clock. It's, it's behind the wall clock on the other side of the whole room. Ah, uh, yes, I know of that clock. You have completed your task, and I shall submit payments for your fee through the Shape Network's payment system. Good day. So is he dead? Well, my work for the day is done. Time to go home. Or I could just sleep at the office. I think I still have some ramen at home. If I get home and I don't have any ramen, ra ramen left, I'll be all torn up about it. There was no ramen. Oh. <laughs> oh. There was no ramen. Time for another case, I suppose. All I need to do is push that button. Let's do it. Beep boop. Here we go. It's a square. 
Hello, I am a square. Four points and four equal sides. It is very easy to remember what a square looks like and that ease can be a small comfort in hard times. What a lovely office you have. Thank you. Thank you very much. I believe that I have made the right choice in coming to you. I can tell already. The reason I am in need of your services is I very much want to send a message to my departed friend. A rectangle. We were very similar in many ways, as you might imagine. Not just in shape, but in spirit as well. Oh, what a good friend they were. What a very good friend indeed. I have no friends. Can you can you can consider me a friend if you like. I love making new friends. I do not know if that helps, but I hope it does, at least a little. Speaking of friends, my message. Would you like to tell the rectangle? Tell them that I still think very dearly of them. That's it? I would hate for them to think I thought less of them now that they're dead. If anything, I think more of them than ever. Here is a personal item of theirs to assist with the summoning. It is a letter that I wrote many years ago telling them of what a dear they are. They framed it and put it on their nightstand. They wrapped a bow around the frame. Thank you. This should work. I will let you know when the summoning's complete. I am so nervous. I hope they still think dearly of me. Alright. This square is very straightforward. Time to peek behind the veil of death once again. Shall I summon the dead shape person? Summon that ghost. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> no squares this time. It'd be funny if I hit the roof. Ow. <laughs> Wow, I've been summoned. How thrilling. I love your coat. How wonderful to be summoned by someone with such a delightful coat. For what purpose have I been brought back into the world of living? A friend of yours hired me to give you a message. A friend? Oh my. Was it my square friend? It seems like the what that's it this seems like the wonderful sort of thing that they would do. Yes, it was indeed your square friend. Oh my god, I'm so excited. What was the message? They want you to know that they still think very dearly of you. Oh my god, yes! Yes, hooray! Can you relay a reply for me? Can you tell them that I continue to think very dearly of them as well? Uh, sure. Uh, go and let them know. Oh my god, thank you! I s still do think very dearly of them, every single day. Hmm. Yeah, four angle shapes, they are. The squares, the four angle shapes are so... the positive and precious and friendly. Did you tell them? Oh my, what did they say? I am so excited to hear. They continue to th they still they, they continue to think very dearly of you as well. That is amazing news. I knew it in my soul and I am so happy to hear it. Can you do me one more favor? Can you give them one more message from me? Is this going to take a very weird turn? I'm expecting this to just like pivot 180 degrees. Sure, what's the message? Can you tell them that I am certain that I am certain we will be dear to each other forever? Can you tell them to that tell them that for me? Sure, for an initial fee, of course. Yes, of course! I am so excited to for them to know how I feel. Sweet, I got more money. <laughs> Way to go, raccoon. Alright. Whoa, hello again. How did my square friend react when you told them about my continued dearness? They want to get shape married to you. <laughs> oh. Oh. They want to get shape married to you! Oh my god, what? This is amazing news, I am so happy! Yes, tell them I said yes, oh my god! Sure will do. Uh, and one last thing. Do you know of any crescents in the realm of the dead? Crescents? No, I don't think so. Why do you ask? Just looking for someone who I... Never mind. Did I kill the crescent? Did I fall in love with the crescent? The crescent doesn't look happy. What did I do? <laughs> How did they react? I must know. They want to get shape married to you. What? This is incredible. I cannot believe my good fortune. I must begin preparations at once. Whoa, what a wonderful blessing. Thank you so much for all your help, friend. I will send your payment and a tip through the network. Also, you are invited to the wedding, of course. What a day this has been. Oh man, we have made a shape wedding. I find no satisfaction in my work anymore. Although I'm not sure. If I ever really did. But it pays the bills. More often than that, it does not pay the bills! 
<laughs> oh, oh, it doesn't pay the bills. It doesn't even pay the bills. I lo those are the parts I like the most. Why would you make people happy? Yeah, I know, how dare I? The world just keeps spinning over and over again. Oh boy, I like this game a lot more. I sh shall I press the button and send in my next clients? Yeah. Oops, missed. Okay, one more time. Boop. There we go, pressed it. A triangle. Hey, I'm a triangle. Whatever. It's not a big deal, who cares? You the summoner? Yes. No. No, I'm someone else. Oh yeah? Well, how are you at summoning? Can't be that hard. What would I know? I know enough. I'm not like a doctor or something. Anyways, uh, I need someone summoned. A star. A big pointy star. You know what a star is, right? What are these secret words you speak of? Uh-huh. Here's a thing of theirs. You need a thing, right? It's a sort of wallet thing, I think. Ah, uh, see you next next time, Ugandan. Thanks for dropping by, I appreciate it. This has been fun. Yeah, I'm not sure if my actions matter that much in this game, yes. Like the previous one, but it's fun. I guess it's just a regular wallet. Looks weird, though. You know, now that I'm spending a lot of time looking, it doesn't actually look that weird. Maybe I'm just used to seeing it. So yeah, their wallet, here you go. Doesn't have any money in it? Not anymore. Summon them and tell them that the triangle says they're sorry. I wish I had, like, uh, bigger words or whatever, but I don't think it matters. Sorry should be enough, eh? Let me know when it's all done, okay? Alright. Doing the ritual feels exactly what you would expect. Touching death to feel. And it's not a great feeling. Shall I summon the dead person I need to talk to? Don't bother. Nope. I'm gonna- I'm not gonna do this job. I'm going to travel the world. Really discover who I am, you know? Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, that felt very weird. You're a raccoon, hello. I've heard of these summoning things, but I didn't expect one to happen to me. So what can I help you with? Maybe a star might know of a crescent. Usually those are like the astrological shapes that stick around together. I was hired by a triangle to summon you and let you know that they're sorry. Are you serious? They're sorry? They murdered me! They put a knife right in my shape face! Oh, uh, I didn't know that. Wait a minute. Did they get, what did they give you to bring me here? You need like a personal item of mine, right? They gave me, uh, this wallet. What? That's the wallet they stole when they killed me! They killed me for that wallet! My perfect star face got stabbed for that thing! The gall! The absolute gall! Well, uh... That's the extent of the summoning. They didn't have any other messages for you. Sorry about all this. Unbelievable! Tell them I hope they're f uh, that... Or, uh, tell them I hope they get all their angles ripped off. Tell them I hope someone sandpapers away their terrible shape face. Okay. Uh, one last thing. Have you run any crescents during your time in the death realm? What? No. I don't care. Go away. I'm done with this. You sure? Okay. Huh. I really thought the star might know something about the crescents. And also I'll get that cursor off my screen. Yeah, hey, uh, did you tell them I'm sorry? They had some very harsh words for you. Figured as much. The past is the past, though. Can't dwell on old mistakes. You're a freaking murderer! I had to put this behind me, and now it's over. Thanks for your help, or whatever. I left some cash on your desk. Later. I've been doing this for years. I've only met three or four shape ghosts who have seen a crescent. And it's always been the wrong crescents. I'm not sure why I keep doing this. Because you have no other- <laughs> You have no other monetizable skills. Th those punchlines are the best. I wonder why I keep doing this, because it's the only thing I can do. Another day, another button. What a life. Shall I press the button? Press the button. The button has been pressed. Rejoice. Ah. Hexagon. Six sides. Six sides. I'm a hexagon, and I have arrived. 
You must be the summoner, I can tell because I was just looking at a photograph of you. I realize you probably are ner you are probably nervous dealing with a shape such as w of such mathematical elegance. If there is anything I can do to make you more comfortable, please let me know. I, I think I'll manage. Yes, I'm sure that you will. Before we begin, I have an important query. Can you summon any shape? For example, can you summon shapes that have more sides and more points than I do? Yes, I can summon any deceased shape person, no matter the shape, and no matter the number of sides or points. I can even summon shapes that have no sides or points, such as circles. All I need is an item that they owned and interacted with while alive. Ah, yes, I do have such an item. The shape I would like you to summon is a cross. Twelve sides, twelve points. Perfection. A chill flows through me just thinking about them and their glory. I must admit I am worried that I am not worthy of their acknowledgments. I am a ghastly shape in comparison, an abomination. I am six sides of trash and six points of garbage. Uh... Yes. What's so special about having more sides and points? It is difficult to explain to a non-shape. There is a mathematical importance that runs through the core of our being. Anyway, here is the item you require. It is a rose which I have pressed and preserved. It was thrown to me by the cross during one of their performances. They were a singer. The music lifted me out of the darkest period of my life and I owe them everything. Yeah, cross. I'm definitely touching high class there. I just want them to know. I'm sorry, this feels a bit silly now that I'm here. You are a shape with a face. Yes, I am. I am not sure why you would say that. <laughs> Please let me know when you have completed the summoning. Just saying it like it is. Here we go. Time to laugh in the face of shape death. Shall I summon the shape? Dead shape person I need to talk to. Nah. This is the moment when my life turns around. This is the moment when everything starts to make sense. Okay. Now let's just do it. Alright. Just wanted to say no once to see what he said. Various shapes. There you are. Oh, hey, it's you. Wow, it's been almost a year. Same coat, huh? Hey, Cross. How have things been in the death realm? Just the usual sort of drama. My trio split up, so I'm looking to start a new group to sing with. Oh, and I was brief. I, I was brief. Uh, I was briefly dating a Decagon. You can imagine how that went. They managed three dates before bringing up the perfection of the Tengons all over their shape, uh, over all other shapes. Huh. Speaking of which, just tell your clients what you always tell them. The cross says that you you two are a shape of worth and dignity. Did you know that I still get summoned at least twice a week or once a week for this kind of thing? It's sweet, but it's also really depressing. Yeah. Well, thanks for your help. It was good to see you again, and sorry if I interrupted anything. Nah, I had nothing going on today. Oh, hey, I ran into a crescent a month ago or two ago, but it wasn't the one you knew. Just wanted you to know that I'm still keeping an eye out. Thanks, Cross. I appreciate it. No problem, raccoon. See you around. Anything else? Behold the glory of all these sides and angles. Tremble! Tremble! Okay, good. The cross is nice, yes. Were you able to summon the cross? Did you give him my message? Yes, the cross appreciated your sentiments and wanted me to tell you that you are a shape worth of worth and dignity. How extraordinary. A shape of so many sides and points saying that it... It means so much. Thank you for your help. I will send payment right away through the network, of course. I must go now. I have a lot to think about. Extraordinary. I wonder what my life would be like if I... If that the fire had never happened. If in a single night it hadn't consumed both the life of my... Crescent... And any item that would have let me contact them in the death realm. Okay, so they died in a fire. No use thinking about these things, yet I cannot stop. I should treat myself to a pizza. Pizza, the pizza place was already closed. It's a Sunday. Well, wait, what about this picture? Can I summon him with the picture? Or is that not, like, attached to them? I don't know. Can't use a picture to summon that crescent. 
Didn't look like a happy crescent anyways. When was the last time I went outside? I wonder if the weather's nice today. Probably not. Hasn't been for a while. Shall I press the button? I have pressed the button. No turning back now. Ding dong! Who's there? It's me, Parallelogram. Parallelogram who? A quadrilateral, quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel sides. That was a joke, but it's a joke based on the truth. Ha ha ha. Yes, you get it. Parallelograms are not usually comedians, but I know many jokes and I enjoy telling them. Would you like to hear another joke? Sure. Which shapes are good at catching people? Trapezoids. That joke is actually extremely offensive and I would not recommend repeating it. <laughs> Shape racism. We should get down to business. Which means more, no more funny business. I would like you to find my heart. No, I do not mean the organ because shape people do not have flesh parts. Also, when I say I do not, when I say heart, I do not mean a romantic longing. I am talking about a shape person who is in the form of a heart. Understood. Understood? What are you, what are, or, understood? What are you standing under? That was another joke. I do enjoy improvisational jokes now and then. Here is an item they owned while they were alive. It's a joke book. They gave it to me when they discovered that they were dying. Dying for me to tell more jokes. This should work. Do you have any message you would like me to pass along to them? I would like you to let them know that I am still telling jokes every single day. And every married day. Also, please ask them if they have learned any good jokes since they've been dead. I'm dying to know. Sure, was there anything else? That is all. Thank you for your help, raccoon. Oh no. I do not know any raccoon jokes. I will think of a raccoon joke for next time. <laughs> Alright. Still trying to think of a raccoon joke. Good. You do that. <laughs> I wish the candles in this room were scented. Shape ghosts smell like sweaty crocodiles. Shall I summon the dead shape person I need to talk to? Summon the shape ghost. I can say alligators don't smell great. I don't know how crocodiles smell. Do they sweat? I don't think they sweat. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, anyways. What happened? Oh, I've been summoned! Neat! How can I help? I've been hired by a par parallelogram to give you a message. Aha! Oh, ha! Did, did you hear some uh, hilarious jokes? You could say that. They mean well, they have a hard time communicating with people, and the joke stuff help with that, helps with that. The jokes are terrible, but it helps them think about what they've, they're trying to say. I wish I could have done more to help them, but... When I went and died... But then I went and died. How are they doing? They wanted to know... They wanted you to know that they're still telling jokes every day. Actually, their wording was every single day, and every married day. Believe it or not, their jokes have gotten better since I last saw them. It's really glad to hear that they're still talking to people. I've been worried. They're also dying to know if you've learned any new jokes since you died. Oh, let's see. What did the square say to the circle? Not to take sides, but you're pretty pointless. I'll be honest, I'm not better, much better at jokes than they were. I'm, I'm sure they'll love that. Can you tell them that I'm all uh, that I'm so happy that they're still telling jokes and that I miss hearing them? Will do. Oh, and one last thing. Do you know any crescents in the realm of the dead? Crescents? Just one. Why? Do you know how long ago they died and if it was in a house fire? Hmm, sorry. Don't know how they died. I know it was a while ago, like a hundred years or so. Oh, okay, that wouldn't be the crescent I'm looking for then. Thanks anyways. No problem! Alright. What is black, white, and red? A raccoon book. Because raccoons are black and white and books are red. I figured out a raccoon joke while you were gone. That's a good one. The heart wants you to know that they are happy you're still telling jokes and they miss hearing them. Yes, I will continue telling jokes until I am dead. And then I will continue telling jokes after that because life continues after death for shapes. Oh, and they have a new joke for you. What did the square to say to the circle? See you around. 
You got it. You're a joke master. Thank you for all your help. I... I have to leave now. Like a tree. I must sail away. See you later. That's S-E-A, like a body of water. You are good at listening to jokes. And good to see you, Chung. Or yeah, I did said that already. But good to see you, Chung Treyumon. Welcome to the stream. Alright. I got in this type of work to find them. The Crescent. Now I do it because I don't know what else to do. I'm not even sure what I'd do if I found them. I need to get some food. Did I eat today? Hmm, someone left something outside my office door. It was a muffin basket. From the parallelogram. Oh, nice. It's better than nothing. What would happen if I sent myself through the shape tube? I wish there were raccoon tubes. Shall I press the button and send in my next client? Sure. Boop! Button pressed and the day marches forward. This game is longer than I expected. Books are red. More of a communist joke than a raccoon book- or a raccoon joke. Well, yeah, that reminds me of the joke about newspaper where it's like... What is black and white and red all over, yeah? Yeah, exactly. Good day, I am a diamond. Please do not call me a rhombus. The naming of shapes is very important and there is no reason why a rhombus cannot be called a diamond if they happen to stand on one of their points. Uh, I don't really understand shapes and stuff. It isn't particularly complicated. I suggest you educate yourself. I would like you to summon a shape for me. But I have an ethical question first. Is it unethical to summon someone who I didn't get along with at all? A shape who may not wish to hear from me? That describes about half the summonings I do. Still, I have my doubts. I suppose that by coming here I have already made my choice, so there isn't much utility in discussing it. Would you like to summon... I would like you to summon another diamond. Here is an item they owned. An unopened bottle of extremely valuable shape wine. The shape wine is made from the juice of deceased shapes. This particular bottle was made from their corpse. I assume the remains of their body is a personal enough item to work for the summoning. Hmm. Yes, that will work. I apologize if this is un upsetting. It is not uncommon for certain higher class shapes to request their bodies to be turned into wine after death. The wine is never to be opened or drank. It is supposed, it is, or it is to be a lasting reminder of their elegance and superiority. Was there a message you wanted me to give the other diamonds? Oh yes, well sort of, I should explain. I was their child. They did not think of me of, uh, think of me a worthy member of their family. I just want to know. I would like to know if their opinion of me has changed at all since death. Ah, I understand. I will perform the summoning and let you know what they say. Thank you. Better than Ash, I guess. Maybe. Just don't accidentally drink it. Hey, wine! Awesome! I'm gonna drink it. Oh. Should I- I could look at the sun setting, or maybe just lay around on the ground for a while and wait from, uh, for- uh, or, or maybe I'll just lay the ground for after my client leaves. Shall I su summon a dead shape person I need to talk to? Don't bother. Why am I even standing here? Who am I? What are words? Ah, we were wondering, what are words? We asked that question during the Devon game. All right, summon the shape ghost. <laughs> but it tastes geometrical, yes. Absolutely. Tastes like pure math. Oh. To what do I owe the honor of this intrusion? I have been summoned, or I have been hired to summon you by another diamond, the heir of your, an heir of yours. I have no diamond offspring. You must be speaking of the rhombus. When I died, I used an opportunity to rid myself of all the undesirable elements that plagued my life. They are but a stranger to me now. I have nothing to say to them. Wow. You're a real monster then, huh? So says the trash-eating bag of flesh. We are finished. I never want to see this disgusting world again. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> That was very quick. It's okay. You don't need to tell me the details. I can imagine what they said. Sorry, diamonds. I needed some sort of closure, and now I have it. They are ridiculous, and my life is better without them in it. Thank you for your help. I will send payment through the network. Good day. That was a short one. 
I didn't ask about the uh, crescent, but I guess they weren't going to talk about it when I left the office that night. I noticed a bottle's worth of shape wine poured out on the street. That's going to smell really bad for days. Boy, did it ever. <laughs> okay. Can I do anything else with the phone? Not anymore. Here we go. Another case. Yes, I can do it. Or, yes, yeah, I can do it. I can function as a productive citizen today. Shall I press the button and send in my next clients? Yep. Beep boop. Another button well pressed. A crescent. Looks a little different from this crescent, but... Hey, raccoon. I thought... I thought you were dead. Yeah. I didn't want you trying to find me. So I burned, down our ha burned our house down and left without saying anything. I don't understand. I needed a change and you were getting really boring. So you burned the house down and left? Yeah, that's what I just said. I knew it was a radical thing when you... Or, you know I was a radical when you met me. So it is the same one. Okay, I just thought the mat face didn't match, but it does. You also knew I was an arsonist. That was one of my greatest passions. I've been searching for you for so long. Why come back now? I just needed you to know. I needed you to know how boring I think you are. It's been really rough knowing that you didn't know that. All right. Well, now I know. Great, I'm gonna jet, all right? Please don't keep looking for me. Also, I can't believe you still have that coat. Later. Well, that was a surprise ending. He's not dead. <laughs> Case closed, I suppose. This isn't really how I expected things to turn out. Gonna take a while to process- it's gonna take a while to process all this. I think I- I think I'll go to the beach. Yes, I haven't been to the beach in years. Today is a beach day. Even if it rains. It did rain, but that was okay. Well, that was- that game was a lot funnier. I mean, I thought the Devon game was funny, but this game was- This game was damn hilarious at points. And it wasn't what it would- it was not what we expected, so cool. Way to go. All right, seven weeks of Cat Monarchy to wrap things up. Here we go. Is it popping up? Cat Monarchy? There it is, seven weeks of Cat Monarchy. All right. The Great Monarch of the Cat Kingdom recently discovered a sunbeam of sensational quality. They have, understandably, requested a seven week sabbatical. It is up to you as an official visiting noble cat, to lead the kingdom during that time, to speak, speak to your advisors and make some important decisions. At the end of seven weeks, you can see what exactly sort of ruler you have been. The cat monarchy awaits your steady leadership. Week one, as cat monarch. All right, I got a scratchy post. I can't jump in this game. Greetings, your greatness, welcome to the treasury. I am your financial advisor. Now, I stand here amongst the greatest, amongst our horde of cheese chunks to determine their general cheesiness for our monarchy. Oh, we switched, we switched games. Yeah, we, there was, there was a surprise ending to the other one. But yeah, now, we, now we're a cat monarch. Feel free to drop in any time and ask how things are going, yes. All right, so we got a lot of cheese. Wasn't expecting that for a cat currency, but you know, what do you expect? Before heading out, before heading to the throne room to make today's big decisions, I can, should consider talking to my advisors to the east and west. Hello, my new and temporary liege. I am your kingdom advisor. It is my job to advise you on the health and happiness of your kingdom. My own health and happiness is irrelevant. Please, see me again sometime. Okay. So, there's finances and there's happiness, I guess. And a cat box. Your cat subjects have some important requests. There is a crisis in the kingdom. A bug crisis. Too many bugs. What if you're... A crisis indeed. You bond over your bug outrage. Roy, your royalness, please. My foot is caught in a bear trap. I'm not even a bear. Release the bears. <laughs> Release the bears. The bears swarm the room. Everyone is very confused and worried. <laughs> Help! Bees! 
Yes, bees. Bees swarm out of your mouth and eyes. What? Week two is Cat Monarch. <laughs> All right, that's ridiculous so far. So far, so good. Bears and bees. Our cheese junk levels are well managed. Just not, you know, very well managed. All right. <laughs> oh. So far, so good. Yeah. This is, this is, I like this game so far. Stillness. Balance. Mediocrity. These are your achievements so far. Good job. Yeah. We haven't ruined the kingdom yet, but we'll see. We got a few more weeks. Your cat subjects have even more requests. Thank goodness you got here in time. There is a huge monster headed for the kingdom. We must stop it, right? I am a monster. I myself am a monster. Ha ha ha. I will stop it myself. Mmm. It's so tempting to go with the funny answer. I am a monster. My I myself am a monster. Ha ha ha. You make monster noises and start throwing things. Oh. Oh. Uh. I forgot what I was going to ask. Unacceptable. Blood everywhere. Good lord. What an overreaction. Ha ha ha. Oh, someone is stealing from my fish stand. I am formally requesting an investigation. My fish stand is an important part of this kingdom. Your fish is mine now. The cat walks away and rethinks their line of work. Cat week three. I'm obviously going for the funny answers because I like it more. <laughs> okay. Hey, LJ Husky, good to see you. We have slightly more cheese chunks than is necessary for basic operations, which means we can engage in extraordinary operations. Oh, good. That's good. It's important to talk to him about that. <laughs> what an overreaction. Blood everywhere. Uh, have you noticed more bugs crawling on the peasants? I have noticed more bugs crawling on the peasants. Good. In addition to requests, in, or additional requests are incoming from your various cat subjects. Help, it's my daughter. She's listening to loud oboe music. Okay. How dare you bring such trivial matters to the monarch? A trap door opens slightly to the left of the cats. They walk away. <laughs> Help! My cat pizza shop is on fire! It's a cat-owned pizza shop! I don't serve cat meats. <laughs> In case you were wondering. I mean, I made this more confusing and awkward than it needed to be. Yummy! Cat meat pizza! Ha ha ha! The restaurant owner looks startled and then leaves. Zoop! Boop da boop! Zip zop zoop! <laughs> Get out! Bop bop I'm gonna- I'm gonna go with this one, this one. Bada bada boop! You're not sure what that was all about, but he seems happy. Week four is Cat Monarch. That's the one answer, that's the one person I will take seriously. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully at this rate they'll stop bothering me. The, the, these are all games made by Film Cow. So that's what the title is about. And the games are Devon and the Celestial Necropolis, uh, The Raccoon Who Lost Their Shape, and uh, Seven Weeks of Cat Monarchy, which is what we're playing right now. Things are at a slightly elevated, or are at a slightly elevated cheesiness levels at this mo at this moment, which I find totally acceptable. Good work. All right. Yeah, it's just probably, this is probably very, very similar to what the president goes through every day and how seriously he takes his job, I'm sure. The peasants are grumbling today, but that's to be expected. Peasants grumble, it is their way. Yeah, okay, they sure do. This is glorious. Your cat subjects are yet again requesting things. How unusual. Oh, God! Oh, no! Behold, for I am the coming storm. Or, what's wrong? I kind of want to hear what's wrong. What's wrong? You talk about life for a while, while and both of you feel a little better. Or tornado destroyed my house! Can you spare some cheese chunks to refund repairs? Nope! <laughs> you send soldiers to knock it down even more! <laughs> the library is underfunded and, and in risk of closing down. Might your royalness be willing to sponsor us? Yes, I love books. 
psh, reading. Psh. Hello, books. Sure. The library was saved. Also, it's haunted by dark spirits. Week five is Cat Monarch. <laughs> knock that house down. Go, soldiers! Knock that house down even more. Our hoard of cheese chunks is larger than that of the neighboring kingdoms. I So, I feel useful and content. Purr. Well, good. We have... We're, we're saving lots of cheese chunks. So, when the, uh... When my leadership is over and the king takes control of the land again, he'll be pleased with them. With finances, at least. Have you noticed more bugs crawling on the peasants? Okay. Yeah, there's more bugs. Is it because of my response to the bugs at the beginning? Ah. Ah, congratulations. Yeah. Get ready for even more requests from your cat subjects. Ghosts in town square! They are making a mess of things, let me tell you. We need some sort of ghost treaty. I will write a ghost treaty at once. I will write you a treaty. Ha ha ha. Ghosts. So there's either positive or negative. What good is a ghost treaty with ghosts? Oh, cool, you're going to Japan? Yeah, that's awesome. I hope you have a wonderful vacation in Japan. And uh, yeah, happy birthday. All right. I will write you a treaty. Ha ha ha. By royal decree, you're a butt. Ghost rule. <laughs> All right. There's a crisis in the kingdom. A bug crisis. Too many bugs. Okay. A crisis indeed. You bond over your bug. Oh yeah, we did that before. My most excellent, you must help. There are precious cat babies on fire in the cursed forest. Can you hire some cat mercenaries to save them? <laughs> Let... Oh, yes, of course, or let the babies burn for all of time. All the babies burn forever. They never stop burning. <laughs> Help! My cat pizza shop's on fire! Oh, this is the same thing. Hey, yummy cat meat pizza? Yeah, okay. Week six. So there is some re repetition, or is it just because of the things I'm doing? I don't know. We have slightly more cheese than normal. Okay. So is there randomness to the game, or...? Because I'm getting some of the same things over and over again. Oh, well, we only have one or two more weeks to go, so... I am trying to convince peasants to get used to a moderately bad life in our kingdom. It is important that they are realistic about things. Wait. Is, uh... Was there smoke outside before? It looks like everything's on smoke. Or on fire, like... Is the kingdom on fire because of my actions? Big decisions! On big requests. Here they come, get ready. I need some help with this math. Can you help me with math? All math, you! They understand, but... Correctly assume your aggressiveness. <laughs> my house! It has been stolen! Somebody dug it up and carried it away! It was a small house, but charming! Well, then, nobody gets a house. <laughs> you outlaw houses. It's mostly an unpopular law. Week seven, as Cat Monarch, <laughs> houses are outlawed. <laughs> oh, that'll be good. I would say the cheese chunks market, the cheese chunks market's looking good today. Not extraordinary, but pretty good. <laughs> houses are outlawed. <laughs> All right, well, people are in the streets and babies are burning. Good. All right. Yeah, I think, I think the fire outside's getting worse. It appears to be 40%. Wait. There appears to be 40% more peasant children rolling around in the dirt today. There's just more dirt in general, actually. Yeah, that's fire. The kingdom's on fire because of my great decisions. I'm not sure if... Have my decisions... A final request before your reign is at an end. Please. My house is haunted. You must do something. The ghost is very upset and yelling I need help. Now you have more ghosts. You unleash all of the ancient ghosts trapped in your royal crown. <laughs> I had ghosts in my crown? <laughs> sure. The library is underfunded and risk of closing down. Might your royalness be willing to sponsor us? Sure, I'll keep sponsoring books. Because that helps the ghosts. Oh god, I smell so much. I'm just a nightmare of smells. Good lord. Guards! Guards won't come near. You backflip out of the room. Help! There's a lion after me! Just a big old scary lion. 
Guards, help this cat! Guards, murder this cat! Ha <laughs> ha! Your guards killed the cat who was a community leader and will be missed. The true monarch has returned! From the sunbeam, your seven weeks are complete. And you are the rightful- and the rightful ruler is returned. Let's see how you did. Processing. Beep beep bop. Everyone's pretty happy that you're leaving! <laughs> but the monarch is richer than ever. Monarchy is richer than ever. Good job? Right down the middle. That's the life for you. Perceive fairness through moderated cruelty. Oh, and the advisors told me to tell you that they appreciate you consulting them every week. You have made two new friends for life! I think that about wraps it up. Take care of yourself today. Thank you for playing. Goodbye forever. Well, that was fun and quick. Let's do one more round, but let's make it faster. Let's not talk to the guys. What if we just say yes to everything? We're just gonna say yes to everything and see what happens. Since we got more time, and then I'll wrap this up. All right, I have to talk to them first, but then I'm not gonna con I'm not gonna consult my advisors ever again. Maybe I'll look out the window to see how the how the community is doing. Yeah, see, there's not as much smoke. Not everything's on fire. More money, more friends, and all that just for moderate cruelty. Yeah, it's not so bad. Help! It's my son. He's very sick. And stuck in a huge bear mouth. Guard! Guards! Help this cat's son! Guards! Help the bear eat this cat's son! That never came up that last time! <laughs> oh, I'm so tempted! I'm so tempted to ask the guards to help the bear eat this cat's son! <laughs> Just help him chew! Oh, I so want to do that! Your guards lose a little bit more of themselves. Your guards lose a little bit more of themselves. I thought I was gonna say yes to everything, but I couldn't. I couldn't say yes to that. Oh. It, the health is terrible! The kingdom is out of potatoes! They're my favorites! Ban potatoes! Potatoes were made illegal, thus solving the crisis. Help, it's my son! He is very sick and stuck in a huge bear mouth. Okay, that's again. Guards help this cat's son. The guards manage to save most of the son. You must help me! There's a huge wolf out to eat me! Can you spare some guards to watch over me tonight? I will eat you myself! <laughs> you eat them in one big bite. Wow. Well, if there's gonna be new things that come up, how can I... How can I say no? Your cat subjects have even more requests. Monarch, noble and wise, I have come with a simple request. Might I read you one of my poems? Uh, to the dungeon! The poet died hungrily and creatively and unfulfilled and, and creatively unfulfilled in the dungeon. I need some help with this math. Can you help me math? I'll math you! They don't understand, but correctly assume that you're being aggressive. Oh wait, did, I, did that come up again before? Okay, that might have come up before. I, 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 I wanted to be nice, but it's so much funnier to do the other thing. I forgot what I was gonna ask. Okay. You part ways, never be again. Help, please! My bakery's on fire! All the cakes and pies and pastries are burning! More things should be on fire! You set various local businesses on fire. No one is happy about this. <laughs> oh, I am. I am pleasantly enjoyed. Is the kingdom on fire? It should be, because I lit fire to it. <laughs> All right. Hey, uh, I don't know how to ask this. I'm sorry, this is very awkward. Can I, uh, I wanted to give you this flower. An unworthy, how love, uh, an unworthy gift. They run away crying from your room as you crush the flower in your fist. <laughs> Hello, monarch. I run a soup kitchen, the largest in the kingdom. Would you be willing to spare some cheese chunks for our cause? Your soup is all mine! They don't serve soup, but the message is clear and the cat leaves. Okay. I just can't help but say the bad option first. Yes. Oh, okay. I'm a nightmare of smells. Royal bath for you. It helps a little. My son, he is very sick. He needs expensive medicine that I can't afford. Socialism? You keep yelling socialism until they leave. <laughs> socialism? <laughs> Tegan for presents. Yeah. Oh. I need some help with this math. Can you help me math? Sure. You are super bad at math, but it's a nice visit otherwise. I am super bad at math. It's true. My farms, they're all gone. Someone has stolen my farms. My soldiers will investigate. My soldiers will investigate. Your soldiers burn all the farms everywhere. 
<laughs> All right, we solved it. Zoop. Boop da boop. Zip zip boop. Get out! The cat never booped again. There's a crisis in the kingdom. Bug crisis, too many bugs. What if you're the bug? You spray the cat with bug spray, rudely. Zoop! Boop to boop! Zoop zoop! Get out! <laughs> God, I smell so much. All right, royal bath for you. All right, here we go. My most excellent, you must help. There are precious cat babies on fire in the cursed forest. Can you hire some cat mercenaries to save them? Sure, whatever. 70% of the cat babies were saved. Hooray! Monarch, noble and wise, I have come with a simple request. Might I read to you one of my poems? All right, go ahead. It was just a super boring, it was just a, a super boring poem. Just the worst. Please, you must help. It's my father. He's so boring. Help me. I have just the thing. I have just the thing. Ha ha ha. The dad is dead. You killed the dad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's great. Your seven weeks are complete and the rightful ruler is returned. Let's see how you did. Processing. Everyone is pretty happy that you're leaving. The monarchy is richer than ever. Good job. Right down the middle. Okay, same thing. You didn't care for your advisors much, did you? They told me you didn't seem to care about their opinions. Drama. That about wraps it up. So I got the same rating, but I got new things and I couldn't help myself. All right, one more time. Let's just say yes to everything. Let's just say yes to everything. I'm gonna say yes to everything. I just wanna see what happens if you say yes to everything, and I wanna see what happens if you say no to everything. We'll just do those two things, and then we'll be done. Cause I keep going down the middle of the road just cause I wanna see, I just wanna see how things happen. All right, yes to everything, no everything. That's all we're gonna do. Wait, am I allowed to just go right in? Okay, I have to talk to the advisors the first time. All right, yes to everything, no to everything, willpower. I know there's things you wanna see, willpower. Just yes to everything, no to everything. I don't care if it's new. Yes to everything, then no to everything. Today is yes to everything. People be happy. We might not have cheese at the end of this. All right. Excuse me, Monarch Leader. I have a humble request. Would you be willing to sing to my stupid cat baby? Sure. It's my baby now. <laughs> oh, I know. I want to keep the baby. Sure. You sing to the baby. It doesn't seem to care. I smell. Okay. Royal bath for you. Week two. Your royalness, please. My foot is caught in a bear trap, and I'm not even a bear. Royal Medic will see to that. The bear trap is removed, but it turns out they WERE a bear! My son, he is very sick. He needs expensive medicine that I can't afford. I will pay for his treatments. He gets better and sends you a muffin basket. The muffins are slightly stale. Alright. Willpower. Willpower. I almost wanted to take the baby, but I don't have a baby. Someone's dug it up and carried away. My house. We will look into it at once. You track down the house. It's not that charming. A cat thief is on the loose! They steal just about anything. It's madness. You must help, please. That's a new one. What if I'm the thief? Ha <laughs> ha uh, I'll hire an investigator. The thief is never found, but the community really pulls together. The farms, they're all gone. Someone has stolen my farms. My soldiers will investigate. Turns out the thief was society. <laughs> it's society. Your cat subjects. I am raising money for cats without a home. Can the monarch spare some funds for the cause? Sure, handouts? Do I just keep yelling that? You've helped, or you've helped seven cats. 50,000 more to go. Help, my cat pizza shop is on fire. It doesn't serve me. My soldiers will put out the fire. Your soldiers were not trained for this, but they did their best. Okay, just snatch that baby. I wanted to, you guys. I wanted to snatch that baby. Please, you must help my brother. He has fallen down a well. He is such, so clumsy and weird. I will send, leave him to die. I've sent him, I will send a team at once. The brother was saved. He showed mild gratefulness. Raising money for cats without a home. Sure. All right. I'm curious, how is, there is like no cheese. Our cheese junks level are a little anemic, but we will work with what we have. I'm sure of it. Okay. I know. <laughs> Hopefully when we do all knows. Oh, but the but it looks so beautiful out here. Look, it's like a rainbow. I heard a baby laugh today. That could be a good sign. But babies are very stupid. I see. So it's like 
it's just a, a direct, a direct, like, you know, there's a direct balance. If you're seeing good things over here, you're gonna see no cheese over there. Big decisions, big requests, here they come, get ready. My son, he is very sick. He needs expensive medicine. I will pay for his treatments. All right, hello! You wanna hear a joke? Do you want to die? <laughs> All right, sure. The joke was too long. All humor was lost. Yeah, those long jokes. Like people who try to tell anecdotes and pass those off as jokes. It's, an, it's, it's not just a simple joke, it's an anecdote. All right, usually those are bad. Rarely are they good, but man, you really have to like stick in there for that. Please, my house is haunted, you must do something. Um, I will send help immediately. There was no ghost, just an angry goat stuck in the attic. <laughs> it's terrible. The kingdom's out of potatoes. They're my favorite. I shall open up the potato reserves. You throw out what quickly becomes the world's greatest mashed potato party. Oh, sweet. Your royal wonderfulness. I just want to say hello. Goodbye forever. Hello. The cat seems satisfied and leave. Job well done, I guess. Zoop. Boop da boop. Zip, zip, boop. Ba da. Ba da 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 boop boop. You're not sure what that was, but the cat seems happy. I was once a baby. I guess I was very stupid. You sure were. We all were. <laughs> Your seven weeks are complete. And the rightful ruler is returned. Let's see how you did. Processing. Wow. You gave away all the monarch's cheese money. The monarch the monarchy is done with, I guess. I hope everything turns out okay. Everyone seems super happy for now. You didn't even consider committing a cruel act. How dull. There should be more people like you in the world. The advisors had so much more to tell you, but you didn't listen. You never listen. I think that about wraps it up. Take care of yourself. Thanks for playing. Goodbye forever. Okay, one more time. Now we're just going to be completely and totally cruel. The cheese. They're, we're going to have so much cheese. This is going to be fun. Okay. I think this might have been... I think we might have saved the best ch game for last, really. <laughs> yeah, you must read more boring people like you. <laughs> yes. All right, yep. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, now to be rich and passionating. Yes, this will be good. All right. Huge monster headed for the kingdom. We must stop it, right? I myself am the monster. Rawr, throw things. All right, like this. Rah. <laughs> I just had like a rubber band toy from my cat throw it around. Oh, that's what actually was written. Okay, cat thief is on the loose. They steal just about anything. It's madness. You must help, please. What if I... What if I'm the thief? Haha. Uh -huh. You aren't the thief, but you decide to take up thieving. Why not? Hey, Tony A. Stark. Good to see you. Free! <laughs> All right. Help! It's my daughter. She's listening to loud oboe music. How dare you bring such trivial manners to the monarch? A trap door opens. They dodge it. I smell so much. Guards! The guards won't come near. You backflip out of the room. My house has been stolen. Somebody dug it up and carried it away. Small house, but charming. Then nobody gets a house. You outlawed hot houses. It's an unpopular law. Help! You must help. My husband is lost. I saw him walking into the spooky woods and he hasn't returned. Spare some guards for a, a par search party? I don't remember this one. Burn the forest! You try to burn the forest, but it's too spooky and you give up. Cat week three of Cat Monarch. Okay, how, how are things doing? All right, looks like the cheese levels are doing good. We have slightly more cheese chunks than is necessary for basic operations. Ah, yes, we had this. We had this status once before. Hello, chicken. What chicken? But good to see you. I guess I'll talk to him too, but he'll just probably say the same thing. Yeah, bugs, more bugs. But peasants talk about, they deal with bugs. Additional requests are incoming from your various cat subjects. My most excellent, you must help. There are precious cat babies on fire in the cursed forest. Let the babies burn for all of time. All of the babies burn forever. They never stop burning. Someone is stealing from my fish stand. I am formally requesting an investigation. My fish stand is an important part of this kingdom. This is a new one. There, no, it isn't. Your fish is mine now. The cat walks away and rethinks their line of work. Week four, as cat mark. Oh, your profile is a chicken. Oh, I see, it is a chicken. It's just small, so it's hard for me to tell. All right, so it looks like we got a lot of cheese. And it looks like the kingdom's pretty messed up. 
All right. My son, he is very sick. He needs expensive medicine. Socialism? Socialism? Help! Bees! Yes! Bees! Bees swarm out of your mouth and eyes. What? The library is underfunded and risk of closing down. Might your royalness be willing to help sponsor us? Reach reading. Psh. Every book was burned. Liber the li li librarians cried for days. Please, my wife needs help. She was doing some sweet skateboard tricks, but she skated too hard and can't stop spinning. It looks really cool, but it has been going on for hours. I will send my coolest guards to help. I will send my coolest guards to own her. By the end of the day, they pretty much got, pretty much everyone got involved. Er, everyone involved got owned. Okay. <laughs> Look at that mound of cheese. Wow, the cheese is going off the screen. I have sent word of our incredible cheese hoard to all the neighboring kingdoms. They're going to freak out, let me tell you. It's a lot of cheese. Can I talk to you again? Nope, okay. Look at that cheese. You could slide down that cheese. You could swim in that cheese if you could, like, uh, like Scrooge McDuck swims through money. I would warn you that the peasants are... that the peasants were likely to storm the castle, but everyone's too bummed to get out of bed. That makes sense, yeah. I get it now. Or I get- I get the chicken thing now, yes. Alright. The library is underfunded and in risk of closing down. Might your royalness be willing to sponsor us? Nope, same thing, okay. God, I smell so much. Good lord. Guards! You're back, full out of the room. Okay, just two requests that time? Okay. Still a huge pile of cheese. What a sight, this horde! Have you seen how large it is, my word? It's almost obscene, and I love it! <laughs> oh. Alright. What's it like gonna be like out here? I did not think it was possible for, be a, for a monarch to be so hated. You really shoot for the stars, don't you? Yep, sure do. Alright. Big decisions on big requests. Here they come. I don't understand ethics. Should I be good or evil? That's uh, this is a new one. I'm surprised at how many different events there are. E evil? Oh, good. What a difficult moral choice. You must help. My husband is lost. Spooky woods. Okay. Burn the forest. Okay, week seven as cat monarch. Wow. Holy crap. <laughs> we literally could not fit more cheese chunks in here if we wanted to. The entire castle would collapse. What a delight! That's a lot of cheese. Let's see how things are going on the other side. Oh, things are dark and purple and flamed. Even the literal demons who live in the spooky forest behind the kingdoms have fled. This kingdom is beyond hell. The final request before your reign is at an end. Thank goodness I got in here in time. There's a huge monster. I myself am the monster! My song is very sick. Oh, we're getting a lot of repeats today. I'm... Socialism! Alright. Your seven weeks are complete, and the rightful ruler has returned. Let us see how you did. Processing. Everyone is dead or dying. What a complete terror world you've made! You've also made an unspendably huge fortune. You win some, you lose some, I guess. Not even for one second did you consider doing something nice for someone. How about that? Did you find your advisors helpful? They will miss you very much. It won't be the same without you around. I think that about wraps it up. Take care of yourself today. Thank you for playing and goodbye forever. Okay, that's about all I'm gonna do. Cats, yes, this was fun. There's a few events that I did not do both options in, and I don't want to keep going through the game to get all the events, because that's just some RNG nonsense. So if you want to see, you can play this for your, your, uh, you can play this for yourself. You can get it on Twitch EO. So if you want to see all the comical endings to all the events, positive and negative, uh, then check it out. This game was made by Jason and Scruffy. That's uh, from the people from the the channel Film Cow. And yeah, this game was delight. This game was good. 
So yeah, finishing on a good ending too. What a delight. All right, shout out time. So shout outs to Aaron Kessinger, Stony, Tony A. Stark, LJ Husky, and uh, who else was here? Uh, Ugandan Peacekeeper, Chung, Treyu, Mon, uh, was... Well, we didn't have a huge crowd today in the, in the chat, but yeah, anyways. Thank you, Maxwell all the way. Yeah, I, I, I knew I missed something. And was, uh... Yeah, yeah, thanks. Well, anyways. Yeah, thanks everyone. If, if I miss anyone, I apologize. That's about as far back as I can go in the chat. But thank you guys, everyone, for watching and joining me. This was a treat just because they were funny. And I really like uh, Film Cow's sense of humor. So, yeah. I enjoyed doing this. I hope you guys did, too. There are a lot of other games that are like this, I suppose. Like, I've heard of... Like, there was a game called, like, Sort the Court or things like that. That would be kind of interesting to play, but anyways. This has been an interesting stream just for doing something different and unique, so... Yeah, I enjoyed this. I'll see you guys tomorrow for Choose My Fate Friday. We'll be doing Vermintide 2. And, uh... That's right, uh, Dragon Ball Z... Or Dragon Ball Xenoverse. It's gonna be another sad stream, so... Anyways, I'll see you for Vermintide 2 and Sad Man tomorrow. So, see you next time! May... May there be much cheese in your future. May you dream of shapes. And... May... May Devon guide you. <laughs> and may Devon guide you... To a peaceful... Peaceful afterlife. Something like that. I don't know. What did we learn today? The world's a funny place. Alright, see you next time! Bye-bye!